Hey, we're talking with David Victor and Glenn Jost of Bostix. Uh, they'll be playing uh, Friday night in the park, concert in the park in downtown Van Wert. Always a great time. Gentlemen, welcome to the broadcast. Nice to have you along here. Uh, nice to be here, Chris. Thank uh, you very much, Chris. You know, I'll, I'll tell you, I, uh, I've been in radio a long time, but uh, there hasn't been a day gone uh, by in my uh, long time career in this business that I haven't wished I was one of the guys making the music as opposed to just the guy playing it on the radio. And I think I probably speak for a lot of listeners, uh, you know, who really, uh, you know, wonder what it's like to be on stage playing rock and roll music at the level that you guys do. It's it's fun just to play. It's fun to, you know, have a nicely rehearsed band and sound good and, you know, just see all the people smiling and recognizing the music. Is, uh, it's, all, it's all worth it. All the travel, all the rehearsing, all the learning. Great, you know, and, and but I got to ask you, you know, what what's going through your mind there, uh, David Victor? You you've played uh, with uh, the band Boston, and um, and I, when you're up there playing big shows, big venues, big crowds, and and you know, what are you thinking about? And are are, are you are you competitively playing? In other words, are you thinking to yourself, I have to do at least as good as the best I think I'm able to do? Is that what's going <laughs> through your mind? Absolutely. I mean, you know, you you rehearse, you rehearse, you rehearse, so that you know when you can get out there, it's just. Uh, as automatic as it can be, and you can just kind of enjoy the moment. I think the best times you have on stage are when you're just uh, feeling the music and just uh, kind of flowing freely and letting it more or less just pass through you, you know. And, and um, you know, obviously everybody knows this music and these great songs and the bands that, that did them, and they, you know, they have a, a sense of how the songs are supposed to sound. And for the most part, the way they're supposed to sound is exactly how they were recorded. So you're trying to emulate how the song was recorded in a perfect studio environment with, you know, multiple takes available to you, but you're trying to do it live and you're trying to put on a show. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, a nice pull your base. And, and, <laughs> you know, high wire act, if you will. High wire act, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a good way of looking at it. I mean, you know, every note counts, doesn't it? And the space between everyone. Absolutely, yeah. You know, the breaks, sometimes there's little breaks in there where you just want there to be space so people are, you know, their ears are tickled. So it's, uh, you know, you can't just be... Okay, so in, in, in working w with a band like Boss Sticks, where you're doing the, you know, the best of Boston and the best of Sticks, I mean, those are complex pieces of music that you're playing. Um, and, and you're trying to emulate literally snapshots in time because that's what a recording is when it, when it comes out of the studio, no matter how much work went into it over how much, how many days or, or weeks. I mean, it, it's still a snapshot in time. Exactly. And that's, that's really what you're, that's the, you know, that's the bar that where it's been set and that's what people remember. And when they hear you, uh, hear you do it, um, you know, the way that it was recorded, that, you know, <laughs> That stimulates the endorphins. I mean, everybody's there just to have a good time and remember, you know, the great times in their lives. And uh, when you do the songs, you know, as they're as they're remembered, that's what you know that brings the most joy. So that's what we strive to do, and we work really hard at perfecting our vocals and getting all the instruments to sound right. And you know, like I use a, an amp that was designed by Tom Scholz of Boston, uh, so that I can get the exact. Boston sound. Well, you know, Tom is uh, that's the that's the rock man, isn't it? Rock man amp. Yeah, he he invented the rock man. He designed and built the rock man. Yeah. and there's not not too many of them left around. So I we have a few of them. I mean, you know, T Tom Schulz is an interesting story in himself. You know, in his own way. I mean, coming from Toledo, which is just north of where we are. That's right. Originally, you know, and then and then going on to MIT. And then coming out working for what Polaroid, I think. And then after that, you know, uh, just writing and recording in his own basement. You know, yeah. w winds up as a, as a founding member of one of the r great rock bands of all time in Boston. So. Oh yeah, I mean, founding member, producer, songwriter. Um, you know, arranging, uh, played the fantastic. You know, rock. He's one of the you know the greatest rock keyboard players of all time. And people sort of, it's it's interesting associate him with a guitar player, but. Mm -hmm. Because they know his guitar work, his amazing guitar work, and and self-taught, I, I believe. I I know he had classical music training on the keyboard, but I think he uh, I think he's self-taught guitar. So that's I, pretty incredible. No, to tell you the truth, but whatever, however he learned it, it uh, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it always sounds like him. You know? It does. We're talking with David Victor and uh, and Glenn Jost. Uh, David and Glenn play with uh, with Boss Sticks, uh, coming to town here Friday night uh, in the uh, concert in the park. 
Uh, Glenn, let me ask you this. I mean, what what does the music of Styx and uh, and Boston mean to you personally? Well, Styx, I have a personal uh, affection towards the music of Styx. I, I saw them a number of times when I was a, a young child. And um, I remember singing along to Tommy Shaw, you know, as a, as a kid. And, um, you know, you, you kind of go back in time and listen to songs like Lady and Crystal Ball and, you know, the, of course, the Grand Illusion record and, and all that, that stuff back then. That's like American, it's Americana progressive music, if you will, except the vocals are so intense and, and, and laden um, with complexity. And, of course, you know, all the instrumentation we've had to duplicate as well. But that's what makes this pairing of you know, Boston and Styx such a unique band, because really it, the bar of entry is, is high. We, Like David said, we work very hard trying to just just really dial in every every nuance and um there's no trickery there's no tr- backing tracks or anything like that i mean these are organic instruments our g- organic vocals and we all sing and um you know it's just it's taken a lot of work to get it to where we're at right now you've got to have that vocal range though that uh, dennis de young uh, tommy shaw and, and 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 you know and uh and uh well even tom tom schultz coach did did a lot of singing with uh what was the other name uh, who am i missing Brad Brad Delp was Brad Delp. That's who I'm thinking of. Yeah, with the uh, voice that everybody recognizes. So, so yeah, you gotta and you gotta get up there. But that's what I mean. That's that's a difficult range to sing. Well, because you're my age, it's, uh, it's nearly impossible, you know, to get to get <laughs> to get to that range. So you've got to have that power of you know of people in their twenties because that's where they were when they recorded that, right? Yeah, we always we always make the joke that like you know we're out there doing this music and we're half so half so years old. And, uh, you know, these guys were, you know, 19, 20, 25, whatever, when they were doing this. And, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a different, uh, it's a different era for, for all of us. So it's fun. You know, it's fun. It and we back. trade off because of that. It, it, it helps right. to build the show because we can take time to, um, you know, to compliment sure. each other on these vocal. But, I mean, those, those voices were crystal clear. And I can hear it in your speaking voices, that clarity, that you, that you need to get that done. So that's oh, going to be fun. You're listen. very clear. Glenn's <laughs> precise per- diction. Well, you know. He's feeling it, Glenn. He's feeling it. Say, uh, another a quick story, uh, uh, David Victor, if you don't mind. We're talking with David Victor and uh, Glenn Jost of uh, Bostics. They'll be in town here Friday night at the park. Um, got to ask you this this question here. Somebody told me, a mutual acquaintance tells me, you you uh, actually kind of got discovered by, uh, uh, was it was it Tom Schultz himself of Boston on YouTube? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Um, um... I was in a Boston tribute band, and we were doing um, playing a show out here in Los Angeles, and um, so we just posted some clips of our show up. And oh gosh, I can't remember what year this would have been. It was a, it was a while ago, and uh, there was a clip of Smokin', and I was doing the song Smokin', and um, they saw that, and uh, after a little bit of uh, um, uh, you know looking at my whole, you know, everything I've done and, and you know, a little more research, uh, they uh, they called me. They approached and, uh, me, actually, first, David. Yeah, that's true, they did. <laughs> they oh, you're on the clip, too, right, Glenn? Yeah. Official representative. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Be interested in... <laughs> I, I let him take the gig. Oh, yeah, that's big of you. That's rock and roll, huh? Thank you, Glenn. Very big of you. He could have hung up. Yeah, I could have. I could have hung up on him. I could have just said wrong number. Sorry, he's not here. <laughs> so, so now you wind up, uh, you know, on stage with with a band that you've been emulating, right? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so it was a uh, it was a little trip out to Boston, and I did uh, did some vocals for Tom, and and uh, he gave me the uh, uh, you know sort of the um, welcome to the band speech, and that was. Awesome. Wow. Um, you know, just an amazing, amazing experience to be with this, you know, meet this person first of all, and then to be welcomed into the the Boston family. You know, it's it's just uh, mind boggling for for <laughs> for anyone, I think, but especially somebody who uh, like like I did, you know, grew up listening to this music and being a huge fan of this music and, and you know, just loving it so much. And uh, it just couldn't be a better 
couldn't be a better fit. Well, I'll tell you what, it's uh, you know, it's uh, we, we've talked a lot longer than I than I thought we had time for. But uh, you know, when you guys are on the phone, you're on a roll here on the phone. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like on stage. You'll be great on stage, and we're looking forward to seeing Bostics here on Friday night. Yeah, thanks, Chris. We hope everyone comes out to the show and you know comes out and says hello and meets us after. We'd love yeah. to say hello to everyone in Van Wert. Bring all the Boston and Sticks fans you can find there. There's a bunch. There's a bunch. They'll be there, guys. Thanks again. Thank thanks, you, Chris. Chris.